Good morning. I was uh, encouraged and pleased by some of the improvement I saw on our team in our last game against Central Florida, uh, especially special teams wise. I thought that was the critical improved area in the game with not only the way we punted the ball, the way we returned uh, the football uh, with the fake punt in our coverage units. So I think that really helped us um, in a game that was uh, closely contested. Uh, I thought the defense played solid again and with the offense making some improvement. Uh, another difficult test coming in. Uh, a great game in terms of an in-state rivalry. Uh, I have a lot of respect for Coach Anderson. I love the way he's coaching his team, and I think they're making progress. And so we're looking forward to it on Friday night. So I'll take whatever questions anyone has. Coach, do you have an update for us with Ross Oppo? I don't yet. Um, in fact, I haven't checked the injury, injury report, um, and I didn't check it over the weekend as well. So sorry about that. I don't have one. And in reviewing the game, do you still feel that Jake Heaps was as accurate as you first thought? After I, I like the way he played. Um, there, there's still some some things we can improve. Um, we can we and he can certainly improve in terms of third down and, and accuracy there. But I thought he stepped forward in terms of managing the game, and I like the way he threw it. Have you had a chance to see how the Utah State game ended on Saturday night? Just finished watching it. What a what a heartbreaker. Uh, and, uh, Man, I thought Utah State played really hard and controlled the game. And a few turnovers, I think, really cost them the football game. But they were more physical. They were the more physical team of the night, and I think controlled the tempo most of the night. And and just a, a tough loss. And how do you go about preparing for Robert Turbin in his run game? Oh, he's, I think he's a great running back. In fact, I was just telling our offensive staff I would love to coach him. He plays hard. He plays physical. He runs with power. Um, doesn't back down, and he's fun to watch. I, I really think he's a good player. I'm guessing then you saw how Utah State ended that game going for yeah. two. As a head coach, probably a tough call. And is that more philosophy or feel in your mind? More of the second, you know, with, with trying to, to uh, help your team uh, develop the mindset, um, but a huge win. And a chance when they had played so well the whole game, and I really thought we're in control of the game. I think Coach Anderson, not to speak for him, probably felt, man, there's no way that with our running game that they'll be able to keep us out. So, And going back to last year, your team probably wasn't happy with the way it played in Logan. How much does that get conjured up, maybe not among coaches, but among players a year later as a motivational factor? Mm, hard to say. Um, so many changes, and it was a pivotal point in the, in the program for some of the changes I did make. But, man, almost seems like five years ago rather than one year ago. So I'm not sure uh, the players might have a different perspective on that, but I, I don't. That seems like a long, long time ago and not as relevant. Uh, since you haven't heard on Ross, I'm assuming you haven't heard on Houston Reynolds or Jordan Pendleton. I haven't heard on either of them as well. Uh, and... Um, what I was told a week ago was that Jordan most likely would play this week if we could hold him out of Saturday's game. So I don't think that will have changed, and I don't have any more information on Houston. The offensive line was said to be a, supposed to be a strength of the team this year, maybe one of the better ones in school history. Can you assess why they haven't been as dominant maybe as most folks expected and, and uh, whether that – yeah, the, the, the only I, I think they're doing a really nice job in pass protection. What we're not doing as well is knocking uh, opposing fronts off the ball and then running for power. And so the combination of either running backs having to run for more power and or offensive linemen coming off and blocking um, to create um, more more push is something that we really have focused on. We simplified the run game last week. I think we saw signs of that improving. It's going to have to keep doing that. And, and so, again, in relation to the question of offensive line, it's, uh, I'm comfortable in how we're protecting. I'd like now, and I, I would now like to see the physical component of the run game to really take some more traction than what we've had.